Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nine having you in class again today. How have you been? We are going to show you how to get the parameters of um, different datums, right? Good. We are going to show you how to get different um, datum parameters. You know, as surveyors, when we want to work with our maybe differential GPS or any other data collector that um, requires us to identify those parameters or let's say to define rather to define those parameters it's sometimes a bit difficult for us to um, assess where we can get them so maybe if you're in the office or maybe if you're at home or maybe if you can move with your laptop or maybe your workstation to the site you can actually use them um, software to um, define let's say to identify yes or to know those parameters so let's say you've put on your sofa then you come down to what um, new worksheet right good now under this um, new worksheet you go to assign coordinate system right good now under assign um, coordinate system you will see two options we have the local system and we have the predefined now we don't have anything to do with the local system now, under the predefined, you will see geographic, projected, and then the templates. We don't have anything to do with the templates. We are going to look at the geographic and the projected systems. So now let's start with geographic. You know, basically our WGS84, which is, um, let's say, widely used or let's say the most popular, is under geographic, right? Good. So let's um, just select any of them and then use the type W from our, what, from our keyboard. So we can now sieve it down to WGS84. So that WGS84 simply means what? World Geodetic System 1984, right? Good. So these are other World Geodetic Systems. We have that of 72, 72 Bossa Wolf, and then the 1984, right? Good. So that's what we are using now. Now, upon getting to WGS84, you are going to see the parameters somewhere below here, this box. Now, some of the parameters that are stated here is that it is Finding it or it's telling us that the datum is what world geodetic system 1984, the conversion method none, the conversion target WJ84, the ellipsoid WJ84. Then these are some of the things that you might be interested in in terms of maybe imputing it into your data logger or whatever the case is, right? Good. So now you might be asked to okay impute your semi-major axis. You can see it right here, right? Good. So we have about this six million, right? 378 then 137.000 that means about 3736 yeah three six three seven eight one three seven sorry six three seven eight one three seven point zero zero then that's our a right good in terms of MGDC we call that a okay you can't make any editing here then when you come down to your semi minor axis which is our b that's a um, small letter B, right? Good. So we have 635, 675.2.31. Then we have the inverse of the flattening, which is this, right? Good. So if you need the flattening, it will now be 1 over this value you see here. So the inverse is now this um, whole number, right? Good. So now the primary downshift is this. So this is that of what the WGS84. So when you copy it this way, you can impute it. Maybe when you've seen it this way, rather, you can impute it on your what? On your data logger. Now, let's say you are not using the um, WGS84 and then you are using any of the projected systems, right? Good. So now let's um, minimize this. Let's come down to projected system. The projected system that is basically used is under what? UTM, right? Good. Now, under UTM, we now select um, WGS84. Now, what this simply means is that, you know, sometimes when we want to quote our origin, we say WGS84 UTM zone 31 to 33 or whatever the case is. I'm trying to make reference to my country, which is Nigeria, right? Good, because it falls on that 31, 32, and 33. So, and we know that um, the zones are divided into 60 zones, right? Good. So, yours might fall from any zone from what 1 to 60. So, mine falls within what 31, 32, 33. So, maybe when you've come down to, let's go back up a bit. When you've come down to UTM, sorry, not UTM. When you've come down to projected systems, you just um, open UTM. Then when you open UTM, you now select what? WGS84, right? Good. Now, this WGS84 will now tell you WGS84 UTM zone 1, 2, 3, down to 60. So whatever zone you fall in, you 
try to just scroll down to see what the parameters of that zone. So we are on what either 31, 32, or 33 in Nigeria. So, so these are the parameters we have what the projection, which is what UTM scale factor one, the central scale factor, the central longitude, the central latitude. So these are in um, decimal degrees, right? Good. So you can um, easily get the equivalent in degree minutes and seconds because there are actually no decimals. So you can say three degrees and then it's actually what zero degrees, right? Good. Then the tattoo here is um, WJ64, the conversion target, then the semi major axis, which we saw for um, the WJ64 some minutes ago. Then this is what the semi minor axis value. Then this is what the one over flat, right? Good. So this is the parameter for zone 31. Just click on zone 32, you would see what you would see the values are what changing. You can just click on zone 33, you can still see what the values are changing. So depending on the location you are, when you select or maybe, yeah, when you select or when you navigate to that point and you click on it, you will see the parameters, right? Good. Now that is for projected. Then we also have that of regional, maybe a local that, um, yeah, or let's say regional, should I call it, um, regional and geocentric, right? We have regional and geocentric ellipsoid. So we are now talking about those ones that are regional, maybe defined for your country alone, not um, WGS-84, maybe attached or something. So still under the projected, you can come down to what? Regional slash national. So you can type and maybe select your country. So let's say we look for N, right? That's um, Nigeria, right? So we now open the different systems that we have under Nigeria. So we have what? That of MENA, Nigeria what? East Belt, MENA Nigeria Mid Belt, then the MENA Nigeria West Belt, right? But so I think this is for NN or something. So we now have what? The Mid Belt, sorry, the East Belt. So when you click on the East Belt, you are going to see the different parameters that are associated what, with the East Belt. So we have the fall system to be this. That's about, is this 1 million? Yeah, one million one hundred and ten, then three sixty nine point seven. Then the false nothing to be this. The central scale factor, the central longitude. This is twelve point five, and that's for twelve degrees thirty thirty minutes, right? Good. So it's actually in um, decimal degrees. You can easily convert them to degree minutes and seconds depending on the input format of your data logger, right? Good. So we come down to what the tattoo, which is what Mina Cameroon, the model. The conversion method, rather, the conversion target, the ellipsoid. Now we have seen what the semi major axis to be this, the semi minor axis to be this, the flattening to be this. Then for these other local datums, so let's say for the regional datums, we have what the XYZ displacement values, right? Good. Then we also have what then there is this uh, meridian, yeah, prime meridian shift. So this is how you can locate, this is how you can find, or maybe this is where you can see the different parameters of what your coordinate system, which you can use for what, for your data logger, or maybe for any other processing you would need it for. So it's actually very simple, straightforward, maybe if you are in the office or you are at home, or if you can move with your PC, you can just, you know, bring it out and you know, put it on, get your software on, and then you are good to go so thanks for coming to class we hope um, we've provided solution to this particular solving problem and um, we hope to see you on our next video until then keep staying safe and have a very good time bye